but obviously my original card, unless I get to keep all of them. I highly doubt it. To be impaled on the angler's hook like the one who came before. What the fuck is with the stout? It seems the lowly stink bug has made its way in. But it is dealt, so it stands. The fuck is with the stout? Why is he cube-headed? No, what is wrong with the stout? Welcome back to Inscription. We're going to run off of dying. As much as I didn't want to die, we did. Because eight flying bears. And now we have our own Nico the Circle card, which... I don't know, maybe it's going to be overpowered, maybe it isn't. We have to see about the evolution cycle, or the growth cycle that uh, it acquired. There's so many opportunities, of course, if you play it ahead of time, and you deliberately made a card as stupidly broken with a billion sigils, and then threw it onto your uh, I don't know, self card. But again, I had forgotten about that, else I probably would have made something even more broken and silly. And the more broken and silly self cards you have, the more likely you have to win. But... Eh, we'll see, we'll see. We're gonna just continue from there. A backpack. I don't know how I can... What is this? Your adversary will entirely skip their next turn. Mm. Sure. Only one. Let's go into a fight. Very quickly. Let's see what we got. You again. Indeed. Our friend freed me. Well, I basically told them how to do it. <laughs> no, they didn't. You got a plan. We have another friend here. You've got to be... I wouldn't call him a friend, but I suppose we are in deep this time. Hey, the skink. Is the skink a friend? Let's see. Another friend here. Hmm. What do they got? Wolf cub. Hmm, skink, you got two health. You'll do fine. Skink. I miss having the the stoat with a sigil. He no longer has his abilities, which sucks. Wait, what? It's hard to call it cowardly. He ran away, you bastard skink! Ah, damn it. Well, at least I can sacrifice it, I guess, but, um... Damn it. Okay, what I'm gonna do... I'll take a this, and then I'll do this, and then I'll do that. Keep me alive. I'll try. And then the stinky, stinky bug. Stinky bug. Back in the game. And I guess that's it. Then I'll kill the wolf cub before it grows. Alpha. Hopefully we'll, you know. Mm. Eh. Cage wolf, oh yeah. I need to get him broken free without also dying. That'll be maybe a little bit of a pain until we meet a bear. As soon as I meet a bear, boom, cage wolf's going up. But for now, I guess the skink's gonna die. Eh. Oh, okay, I already won. Never mind. More cards. Myself. Ah, the mantis. Its prying claws strike both to the left and to the right. Moose book. Ooh, regal moose. The creatures of the wild make a way for it. Oh, hefty. At the end of the owner's turn, a card bearing the sigil will move in the direction inscribed in the sigil. Creatures in the way will be pushed in the same direction. He's pretty chunky, I will admit. But me. A card bearing the sigil will grow into a more powerful form. I'm curious. Genuinely. I can sacrifice it. It costs one to use, and it's not even my final form. How can I deny it? I'm curious. I'm so curious. Um, yeah. Sacrifice. Let's check what we can do. I can give myself more powers. Oh, jeez. The choice is yours. So if I made myself marvelous... If I gave myself stink. I mean, I don't want to sacrifice the beetle when he talks. Hello. I mean, he, he's fine with it. Ant queen. Ant queen. Mm. Am I your choice? Mm, Ant queen. It costs two and has a strong ability. What if I... 
What if I had ants come out of my butthole? Hmm. I don't want to make myself stinky, though. <laughs> Nico, you're stinky, Sergal. I, I could see the comments coming a mile away. When a card bearing the sigil would be struck, a tale is created in its place. The value represents uh, represented with the sigil will be equal to the number of ants the owner has on their side. Wait, the value? Oh. It's one of the reasons, at least, why having the ant queen would be good, but I'm going to assume... Wait, if I... If I make myself get the sigil, will it fuck my attack pattern too? I hope not. I just want the sigil. I just want to spawn ants. Damn, man. I, I don't want to lose my tail. The tail is cool. Mighty leap. Oh, this is tough. Fuck. Well, let's hope I don't make a mistake, then. Don't fuck my attack. Don't fuck my attack. Okay. I'm just an ant now, and I spawn ants. Cool. I, I was really scared that it would, like, mess with my attack and make it so then I only can have a, a strong attack pattern based on how many ants are on play. But anyways. Oh, the wolf. Okay. The stump's in the way. Uh, squirrel. I'll test out myself. Worker ant. Worker ants cost, though. And I'll have to see what my character turns into. Hmm. And also, I'm able to sacrifice myself infinitively. So then I can just do this constantly. I won't die, though. Hmm. 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 I just keep going. Why not? <laughs> I definitely feel strong because of this. Huh? Meh. I mean, a stronger form. An angrier form. Hmm. And spawner. Um. It's me. Yes, it is. Well, what more can I do? I mean, for the cost of one blood, four and four is really damn good. But I was hoping for even more, for being even more broken. But I mean, four and four with one cost. Can't complain, I guess. Yeah. But I'm sure every time you have, like, a self-card, they're always going to be broken. There's no way you can't have a self-card that's just weak and pathetic unless you just made it so. The tragic Rat King. When their tangled bodies become corpses, you will gain for bones. Mm-hmm. Hmm. The venerable Alpha. Its courage emboldens the creatures that stand beside it. Maybe. Tricky. The pernicious vulture, a tyrant of the skies. That is pretty good. Three and three for eight bones. Mmm, tons of bones. Even if I do tons of bones, I don't have any bone creatures that are, you know, worth going for. If I had Rat King and then Turkey Vulture, or vice versa, then yeah. An alpha is weak and doesn't evolve into something else. Maybe a stronger version of the alpha exists? Like, he looks like a mutt. Maybe if we were able to provide the Alpha a growth sigil, he'd turn into some epic boss. Maybe. But we'll save that idea for another time, I guess. Hmm. You can't take more than three items and you have three. Instead, perhaps you'll accept this gift from my friend. <gasps> Ooh. A trinket bear. You look at your sniffy little rat. Uh, when a card bearing the sigil is played, you will receive th a random item as long as you have less than three. Hmm. I mean, yeah. the prudent pack rat never doubt the utility of a well stocked pack. Hmm. Huh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Can't, com can't, can't complain. How could I? 
So strange, why can't I remember his name? I believe I lost some of my memory. In the flash. Hmm. Perhaps. I'm gonna have to have this caged wolf get broken out. Um... Hmm. Well, Skink goes first, I guess. For the time being. Then you move to the right, and... Yep. And then I will, uh... Hmm. I need blood. Stinky bug. Ah, uh, stinky bug. Well, at least win the fight, which is good. Good play. Thank you. Otherwise, oh, squirrel. Hmm. You'll kill him, so I'll take... Oh, four damage, shit. Mm, that hurts. Mm. They'll do two damage. I think I'm only one... One damage away or two damage away? Um... Mmm... I should be f fine. I can't really properly read that. Um, I should be fine. I should be fine. I should be fine. Oh, thank God. One damage away from dying. Mm. Oh. Look. There's a third talking card somewhere around here. Personally, I hate the guy. Biggest killjoy ever. But he's the only one of us with a plan to get things back to normal. Okay, cool. Um, I'm gonna have to use these. Like, if he gets played, he won't die. And this guy only does one damage? So I should be fine if I do it. I don't want to use the time thing, because that'll be important for later. So I'll use this. Should be good. Should be good. Yeah. Don't scare me like that, man. Ducky Vulture. I don't have enough. And he'll be busted out of his cage. And I'll do two damage. He'll only do one. One cage. What was that? I got an achievement. Um. Yeah, mm, whatever. I see the way this is going. I concede. You may accept my surrender. Or you may finish this match the slow way. I mean, I'm the olive branch. I'm gonna do this once, just to see if I get an achievement. Ironically, an olive branch, blah blah blah. A pickaxe. Hmm. I don't know what this is, and I'm curious. I know this one has free cards, but what is this? What is this? Wait, you came across a hobbled man standing beside some boulders. You caught me off guard. Not supposed to see me till further down the road. Say I like me a gamble. If and ye can pick a polder that has gold in it, ye can keep it. Show me where to strike. Way. So it's just pure luck? No, I think I see some golden tint on the letter R. I can see the yellowish. He hot is gold. I can barely abide giving to you, but a promise is a promise. Hmm. Yunk. That's it's not even RNG then. I can see the gold tint. Guessing on purpose. We have no choice but to do the fire, as much as I was worried about it. Gave me an ominous vibe before, I remember. 
You came across a small group of survivors. Faces shrunken from starvation, they huddled around a campfire. They looked upon your group of creatures and beckoned. Come warm one of your creatures by the fire, one said. Warm it by the fire, that will enhance its power, said another. You notice one of the survivors wiping drool from their mouth. Hmm. But I don't want them eating. If I made the stove stronger, that'd be cool. If I made myself stronger, that'd be cool. Oh, I mean... If I made the stink bug do two damage, that'd be also funny. The fire warmed the poor Nico the circle, enhancing its powers. Hey! Another gnashed their teeth. Without a word, you pulled Nico the circle away from the fire and left. There has to be a risk to this or something. But making my own character stronger obviously is great, but there has to be like a, a risk that one of them will like eat the card or something. My boss battles are high stakes, test of your aptitude. With one in the flame, you will enter, or either overcome them or die. Fear not, I will let you keep your the sm keep the smoke. The smoke? Wait, what? The fuck it? The incessant clank clank clanking reverberating between your ears. The path ahead was blocked by a grotesque figure. Yes, yes, the prospector. And I know, well, as soon as I beat him once, he'll fuck my entire deck, so I'm keeping, you know, not... What is the smoke, though? The smoke... I mean, if he dies, he gives me tons of... shit, so I mean... Pack Mule. I'll want the smoke here. I'll want to be able to do damage to the Pack Mule. Hmm. I don't know if the pack mule goes this way and then flips and goes the other way as well. So. Hmm. I don't want to put my Nico card because he's going to turn him into gold afterwards. I'll have to just try to survive in the meantime. Hmm. I don't think there's anything else I can really do. So many bones. Okay. With so many bones, I need. Mm. Squirrel. Why not? The pack rat should do. How many bones do I have, though? You're lacking bones. Ah, okay, there we go. I clicked and it reformed them. And then each pile is five, so I only have six right now. Hmm. You'll be able to kill the coyote, which is also great. Hmm. And then he'll move. Hey. Hmm. Ah, the golden pelt. Completely fucking useless. If I get the pelt destroyed from attack to act as a defense, I mean, it's either it gets destroyed, but it'll waste a slot, so I mean... That's horrible. It's gonna grow up. I don't want to use my Nico card, but... Ugh. This is stressful, guys. <laughs> I'm like, oh, if I play my Nico card, I'll be able to defeat him in this first phase easily. But then he'll get turned into gold. This sucks. If I can destroy the pack mule. Oh, it's hurting. Oh, that's not good. Fuck. I might have to play it anyways. God damn it. Fuck it. Worker ant. I'll just save the worker ant. Although the worker ant. Mm. We'll save it. 
We have to balance things out. Mm, and he's evolved. Five to four now. Excellent. Um, not enough yet. Oh, well, how many how many bones we got? Ooh, I have enough. I have enough. How much damage? Three. But he's an airborne, so he won't attack the mule. Uh, yeah. Hmm. The ant would also be able to kill the coyote. Fuck. I'm, like, having to think really hard about this. Maybe I don't need to. Uh... We'll leave it for now. Because I know I'm going to beat him really soon. Hmm. Hmm. Work around. Hmm, if I put him down, it gets stronger, but literally in this move, my character's gonna turn, so I, I cannot play anymore. Uh, fuck it. Uh, I just gotta get rid of the pack mule in the next phase. Yep, there's gold. Yep, of course. I need to get rid of that fucking... Hmm... Pack mule. Mm. <laughs> ah, prospector boss again. Yep, I hear you. I wouldn't want him to put him by the wolf to get killed. Hmm. Damn, the wolf would just fuck him up. The worker ant would be able to do damage. Maybe then the stoke can finish him off. Fuck. Alright, worker ant, do your shit. As weak as you are. Hm. Flip. Um, but yeah. I guess that's all I can do. Get him. Oh no, not my gold nugget. Ah, uh, okay. And then... Bad? Fuck off. I mean, the Bloodhound will probably attack him and kill him, yes. But what the fuck more can I do? Eh, well, or I just kill him. I forgot about the amount of damage I did to him. Very well. You may choose a rare card. Excellent. No. Hey! Wait, child. Poor abandoned child. It does not die when sacrificed, but you have the heart to try. Child 13. Hmm. So it's like... It looks like a rat and a dragon? Child 13, hmm. I wonder if he's a unique card by some means, like if he talks but he's just sleeping. Maybe. Maybe, because it is sleeping. Maybe it'll wake up. The strange larva I know is broken over, like really strong, but I'm kind of curious if it's story-wise an important card or not. After the harrowing encounter with the prospector, you gathered yourself and continued onwards. Let me see. Mm, yeah, the jungle again. Yeah, I hate the wetlands. They better not fucking throw a fuck ton of bears at me again. Ah, yes, the bunny hole. I do want the bunny hole. The mantis is kind of cool, but I mean... Actually, you know what? Maybe I will do the mantis. But the bunny hole is good because of... You know, rabbits. Hmm. I just don't know why the the bunny hole requires blood, but whatever. What the fuck is that? I need the backpack, but I'm kind of curious what the fuck this is. 
You came across some familiar stones, but there was something different. You intuited that the fate of the creature selected for this would not be pleasant. Uh... No way. Do what you must. What? What does it do? Pick something else. Uh... <laughs> I mean... I don't know what it does, so I'm gonna have to learn from experience. Maybe the possum. The possum's kind of... meh. So let's see what it does. You callously slaughtered the opossum. And? However, the Bone Lord was pleased. What? You will start each battle with one extra bone. A minor boon of the Bone Lord. You will start each battle with one extra bone. You shook off the viscera of the poor opossum and carried onwards. I see. So... It's like... Hmm. If we sacrifice a card, we get a bone, so every new fight we get bones to start off with. Yeah, I guess it's okay. If we knew we had garbage cards that or bonus or extras, then yeah, sure. But otherwise, I wouldn't want to do that unless I'm actually, uh, obviously, uh, wanting to sacrifice something. I said, I'm going to assume it happens every single time until I die or something. Child 13, though. I'm curious about him. Bullfrog, that is a mighty leap. Hmm. Hmm. I wonder if he's sleeping or not. Because now I can just... The bullfrog would not die. That's good. Bullfrog versus bullfrog. I guess I could do the bullfrog. Oh. He woke up. He did, in fact, wake up. Interesting. And he flies and can be repeatedly sacrificed. Oh, he's sleeping again. Wait. Well, that's an interesting twist. He's not strong, but... He wakes up every single time and gets put back to sleep or gets slain? Huh? Hmm. Skink. Hmm, not like I can do anything. Ugh. Hmm. Problematic. Touch of death. When a card bearing the sigil damages another card, that creature perishes. Hmm. Um. Hmm. Well then, this is, uh, you can wake up. Yeah, none of you can move. Fuck. They're gonna do damage to me, but this guy will counter it, though. Bonk bonk. Hey, Good job. Job 13 is kind of weird. I would have preferred the larva, 100%. Ah, uh, what the fuck is this? Moist cards? You must make a different kind of choice now. Choose not a specific beast, but decide the cost that you wish to pay. Bones? Two blood? One blood? I do need more bone cards, so... God damn it. I was expecting a different card. Boo. One blood would have worked, too. Um, backpack, yeah. Let's get some stuff. Oh, some bone tokens for a rainy night. You can see the little piggy jar. Hmm. Hmm. More bones. Hmm. Well, get into another fight. I don't like these. Oh no, they're stinky! Oh no! 
everything stinky. That's not good. Uh, squirrel. Oh, the stinky. Stinky poopy. Hmm. So I think what I'll do is I'll put him here. Then when threatened, he'll move here and attack the stump afterwards after doing one damage. Good. But... Ugh. It's not a good way to start with all that shit happening. Mm hmm. I need something good. Work around. Hmm. Also, how many's in here? Four bones. Oh, I could do the rattler. Eh. Yeah, I'm sure. Why not? I don't see the problem. The problem will be... I'll die to the stupid river otter. Also, wait, what? Wait, why does, why does he have zero? Because he's stuck? Hmm. Weird. Skink is just stuck. Ugh. Well, if it's stuck, then... Does that mean if I put the wolf here, it's also stuck? I think so. Hmm. I need to make things airborne to win this, I guess. It's the only way to win. Okay. I hear you loud and clear, I guess. May not win in the meantime, though, but... Hmm... Or can I attack? Hmm... Strange. Okay. I need to get... I, it's, I can't get rid of them, it's annoying. I just need to do more damage than them. You have me here, I surrender... Wait, what? Really? I mean, he does... three damage. I guess we're on a stalemate at this point. I mean... Actually, no. Wait. Let me think. If I were... He'd do four damage, but I'd do three. I mean, as soon as I would get another creature, I'd be able to do the same damage. I feel like I really should just take that. He does more damage than me. Because the Warren would pop a bunny, but has no power. He'd eventually win. Hmm? I'll take it. It's getting a little worrisome. Very worrisome. Yeah, I want things that cost one blood. Eh, wolf cub, sure, fine. Whatever. I don't think I have one yet. And... Hmm. Hmm. Maybe. What kind of stuff do we have? A fan and time. Eh, let's go sacrifice. Why not? But what shall we sacrifice? It's me. No, you're not strong enough. I can't do my own character. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I need something to have bunnies shoved in its ass again, I guess. Because this card on its own is worthless. It's worthless. It has no attack pattern. It's it's only uses to be sacrificed. So marvelous. Child thirteen though. What if I made it different? Is there any point to it even? What if I made it smelly too? <laughs> what if I made it smelly? Hmm, pack rat too. The pack rat would be good. There's too many things that'd be good. 
So it's like, I'm gonna have it so someone becomes the bunny. Ugh. But the question is who? Preferably what you'd want is the bunny hole and the cockroach. Because then you'd have it so you put the cockroach down, it spawns a bunny. The cockroach dies, it goes back in your hand. Rinse and repeat. That'd be an obvious strategy. I would save for it, but... Wait. I don't have a cockroach. Maybe when I do get the cockroach, I'll use that, actually. You know what? It's, it's, it's a good idea. So I'll try to think of something else. The pack rack could work in the meantime. The child 13 isn't that great. What I'd want, obviously, is something that is a threat. As well as infinite. I could make a st stinky stoat. Maybe I'll make child 13 be stinky. I want to like, not sacrifice the, the cards that can talk, though, because their dialogue might be important for revealing something later in the game. So that's another problem. You know, I think a good idea, the Rattler. Something strong, like a glass cannon, but now I can make it so the snake loses its tail instead. Sure. Now it won't die, and it'll be able to attack twice. That's good enough. I don't want to sacrifice things that talk, per se. I want to keep them all alive, so they talk. <laughs> lucky draw. Man, this does seem like a lucky draw. Kingfisher and Coyote. Hmm, but myself, I mean, if I use this card, it's just basically an instant win, so whatever. Worker Ant. I, I need more... cards that also are... Oh wait, shit, I forgot. Oh, I forgot I could sacrifice myself. Fuck. I forgot. Ah! I forgot. Oh, fuck me. I honestly forgot. That's... Uh, that's... That's that's on me. Okay, what do they have here? I need... I'll draw a card, my bad. Uh... There you go, buddy. That's fine. Okay, so first... Bonk. Wolf Cup. Two. Rocker Ant. Bonk. And then as soon as the Grand Fur is gone, we'll do it again. If I sur if he survives. No. Now what the fuck is this? This is also gonna be a long episode, I guess. You arrived at the inky black mouth of a cave. A strange beast lurked within. It spoke past one of my trials, and I will be yours in a raspy voice. Three creatures will be drawn from your deck. They will decide your success or failure. It spoke again, but first you will choose a trial. The trial of bones. The three drawn cards must cost three. The three drawn cards must cost at least five bones. At least five bones. At least. Hmm. At least five. The three drawn cards must have at least three sigils. The three drawn must have at least four attack combined. Will the trial of power begin. Fucking what? Zero from. <laughs> fucking what? Come on, you gave me the fucking Pell! Seriously? Fuck the Pell. God damn it. That's stupid. The pelt being in my hand is so fucking annoying. I have to fight the boss again. And seriously, fuck the pelt. I wasn't even able to find the goddamn trapper. The mud tugged at your feet. Rank odor. Yeah, yeah, get over here. Are you gonna do your bullshit this time? With eight fucking bears that are flying? We'll see. We will see. Kingfisher, though. I don't think he'll even attack this. He flies, so he goes over. So, I mean... Yeah, whatever. Will I want to sacrifice that one? Mm. 
sure, whatever, whatever. Why not? Mm. Go ants. Stale fish, hard shoes. New fish, easy choose. Take new fish, easy. I don't get what the fuck he's saying. All I know is he's probably gonna steal one of my fucking cards. What? Mine now? Yep. <laughs> he just says yep. That's how it works, huh? God damn it. I need a better fucking hand. Are they just gonna do a stupid amount of damage? Fucking god damn it. I don't want him stealing, obviously, one of my good cards. I'd have to, like, deliberately make it so when he's about to steal one, I put something worthless. Alright, well... Smoke. Mmm... Ugh. All stale, hard shoes. Ugh. Oh, fuck. This is tough. Ugh. Shit. Man, I don't know. If I do the fucking wolf... It, it literally, if I put the wolf down on, to, by consuming both of these... Oh, man. Fuck. Get rid of one of those cards. Fuck it. I might have to, like, just leave things as is, basically. But I only do one damage, so... Fuck. I'm obligated to pass. Ugh. <laughs> Fucking annoying piece of shit. Of course. Of course you will. Now I have to kill it, and I won't die, but it's still a pain in my fucking ass, you know? Oh, should I never mind? I forgot. It goes over. But he's gonna kill it! And the wolf's gonna do a stupid amount of damage, so... Uh, fuck it. In this situation, things are just looking horrible. Ugh. I don't like this boss. At fucking all. The angler. Mind his hook. Play a squirrel or something when he aims it. That will protect your best cards. I haven't gotten any of my best cards. I'm getting all my shittiest. Ah. Seriously. Like, sure, I realize then, instead of the wolf and the ferret being taken, in the situation when he's about to hook one down, me pausing the turn made it so he didn't steal it that one time. But. I don't know. It's kind of annoying. I'm dead because of the wolf, though. Uh, this won't do anything, but whatever, I'll just do that. Because the wolf's gonna do the fuck ton of damage. And I only have one candlelight for boss fights now. Go fish. Fuck me.
Well, I'll know next time. Yeah, make it so he steals my squirrels, so they can't do any damage to me. But nonetheless, it, it wasn't impossible. It was, you know, not as impossible as the, uh... The, uh, flying fucking bears. I took a picture of him? Pathetic. Do you really think I would leave film in there? Do you have any idea what the camera's capable of? Give me that. We have a memento to create. Behold. Eh, yeah, fine. Cost. I mean... If I have it two cost, I mean, I'm guessing my prior death card's gone? Possibly. Probably. Mmm. I like one cost things, though. Uh, power and health. Really? God damn it. Well... Power and health, uh... Jesus Christ, they all suck! <laughs> Why did I get power and health from with a vulture? Uh, the sigils. I, they're really, they're really fucking with me. I get this weak fucking card. Uh, I, this is pathetic. Ugh. Of all the cards I have, they give me the, sh the boss fight was just me, not even with my self card, my Nico card. Not even with my strongest cards. I got the shittiest fucking cards. That's why I like building my own deck, like editing my deck, so I don't constantly get stupid shit like, oh hey, I'm in a tight pickle. Oh, here's, a, here's fucking sheep fucking fur. Here's a pelt. What the fuck am I gonna do with pelt? I, I couldn't win that fight because I got my shitty cards. Ugh, and this card is shitty. Whatever, um... Meat. I'm gonna call it meat. I'm not gonna call it myself, it's weak and pathetic. Unlike me, God. But, say cheese. Maybe I should call it cheese. Man, it's, it's a weak card, whatever. It's gonna be a sacrificial card, so it's a good thing it's one blood. But obviously my original card, unless I get to keep all of them, I highly doubt it. To be impaled on the angler's hook like the one who came before. What the fuck is with the stout? It seems the lowly stink bug has made its way in. But it is dealt, so it stands. The fuck is with the stout? Why is he cube-headed? No, what is wrong with the stout? What? Did, do I get to keep these? Hmm. There's just nothing in here now? Huh. Wait, was there something in there? Weird. And then there's this. Adding smoke to it? I mean, if I die another time, the right candle will be lit, maybe, and then more smoke goes in? Because I swear it was the metal candle before. I could be wrong. Or it was the right one. Mm -hmm. I'll take those. Wait. Also, that broke out. Wait. Huh? You finally pried my special dagger from the paws of that squirrel, but you may wish that you hadn't. Huh. Strange. Also, what is this about? Oh, God! <coughs> what is this about? Oh. Why is it glowing red? What does that mean? Now I'm confused. 
Also, wait. Wasn't there something else? There's three items here before, I swear to god. Hmm. Also, I don't know about the clock still. I'll double check the rule book just to see if it's in there or not. Hmm, no. Anyways, I'm gonna leave it here. I died again. I know at least what to do with the Impaler, so only squirrels get taken. So it's like, when he has it hovered, you only put a fresh one, but that means like I, you can't play as many cards as you want, like, as much as you'd want to. You need to always make sure the last card you put down is a fucking squirrel. It's kind of a pain, kind of limits you, kind of messes things up, but we'll have to just remember that for next time. So next episode will definitely, definitely, hopefully, definitely beat the Impaler, but it's as long as the deck I have. What the fuck? Uh, both of them kind of looking weird. But yeah, it just card RNG was not in my favor, and I messed up obviously twice. But either way, I'm gonna leave it here. I hope you enjoyed and look forward to more and me beating the bosses. I don't know how many bosses there are, honestly. But I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, please leave a like, comment, hit that subscribe button, big muffle subscriber, and the location down below for updates of my videos. Thank you for watching, and until the next time. Mm.